Hi, Marty. Hey, Paul. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming. So Thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure. If you, if you wanted to, we sort of wanted to pick your brain a little bit about your experiences and sort of leading, leading the charge in computing here. So we're all talking about hybrid cloud. Um, how has the hybrid cloud strategy influenced where you are today in your computing environment? So, you know, when we see the variable, the ver various types of workload that we have in our on-prem cloud, we see the peaks, we see the valleys, we see the demand on the environment that we have, we really determine that we have to have a much more elastic, more scalable capability so we can burst and stretch our environments to multiple cloud providers. These capabilities have now been proven at City. And of course, we consider what the data risk is as well as any regulatory requirement. So how do you, how do you tackle the complexity of multiple cloud environments? So every cloud provider has its own unique set of capabilities. They have their own APIs, distributions, value-added services. We wanted to make sure that we could arbitrate between the different cloud providers, maintain all source code and orchestration capabilities on-prem to drive those capabilities from within our platforms. This requires controlling the entitlements in a cohesive fashion across our on-prem and off-prem, both for security services, automation, telemetry, as one seamless unit. Can you talk a bit about how you decide um, when you to use your own on-premise infrastructure versus cloud resources? Sure. So there are multiple dimensions that we take into account, right? So the first dimension, we talk about the risk. So low risk to high risk. And, and really, that's about the data classification of the environment we're talking about. So whether it's public or internal, which would be considered low, to confidential, PII, restricted, sensitive, and so on and above, which is really what would be considered the high risk. The second dimension would, be, would focus on demand volatility and responsiveness sensitivity. So this would range from low response sensitivity and low variability of the type of workload that we have to the high response sensitivity and high variability of the workload. The first combination that we focused on is the low risk and high variability and high sensitivity for response type workloads. Of course, any of the workloads, we ensure that we're regulatorily compliant as well as we achieve customer benefits within this environment. So how can we give developers greater control of their, their infrastructure environments and still help operations maintain that consistency and compliance? So the main drivers really to use the public cloud is scale, speed, and increased developer efficiencies as well as reducing costs as well as risk. This would mean providing developer workspaces and multiple environments for our developers to quickly create products for our customers. All this is done, of course, in a DevOps model while maintaining the source and artifacts registry on-prem. This would allow our developers to test and select various middleware products and other products, but also ensure all the compliance activities at, in a centrally controlled repository. So we really, really appreciate um, you coming by and sharing that with us today, Marty. Thank you so much for, for coming to the Red Hat Thank Summit. Thank you, Paul. Thanks a lot.